Hi, I'm Mike and I'm here at Camden Garden Centre and I'm going to give you some gardening advice. And I've got five plants here with me and the first one is a well-known plant, a clematis. This is a cultivar of clematis called Mrs George Jackman and has a pretty white flower with lots of stamens in the centre. And this little uh, insignia here is an award of merit, award of garden merit from the Royal Horticultural Society. And any plant that has that on its label, you're assured is a very good quality plant, uh, easy to care for and a, and a good all round plant. So that's an important thing to learn about. Moving over here, we've got a plant that's grown for its rather beautiful foliage. And this is a plant that's very good in a shady condition. So if you've got a north facing garden and lots of shade, then this is a good plant to choose. I'm afraid it's got an awful botanical name, Schizophragma hydrangeoides moonlight. That's a mouthful. Moving on now to passion flower. And this is a white form of passion flower, Passiflora carulia white lightning. And then moving on, we have a beautiful plant for a sunny position, again with an almost impronounceable plant name, Trachylospermum jasminoides. But these white flowers here are really, really fragrant. It's a, the most delicious fragrance. And the leaves, whilst they are evergreen and last all year, in autumn and throughout winter, go a lovely kind of burgundy red colour. So it's a good all round climber. And finally, behind me, I've got a well-established um, plant of Boston Ivy, which is a relative of Virginia creeper. And this also is a very shade tolerant plant. So again, this is good for shade. I want to just show you quickly how the different plants climb because you need to know how they climb in order to judge whether or not you need to put a fixing up for these plants. The clematis climbs by twisting its leaf stalk around whatever it can get hold of, either a cane or a piece of trellis or string or wire. And in this case, it's actually twisting around another leaf stalk. Moving on now to the schizophragma, this has a very different method of climbing. This one produces little roots, and you'll be able to see down here how these roots attach. And here they are. There's the plant stem producing tiny little roots and these roots grip onto almost any surface. So they can grip onto brickwork, they can grip onto woodwork and they can grip onto concrete. And there are so many of these tiny roots that they ex exert a real strong adhesion to whatever surface they're on. Moving on now to the passion flower. Passion flower has tendrils and that's what these are. And tendrils again wrap around things so they will wrap around wire or string or trellising or canes but they can't grip onto a brick wall or a concrete wall. Next is the Trachylospermum and you can see quite readily how this one climbs because you can see it's climbing around the cane so this is what we refer to as a twining climber so this needs something to twine around Again, you'll need canes or uh, wire or trellis for this one to climb. And then the most unusual form of climbing mechanism is this one, the Boston Ivy. And this one produces its own cement at the end of little pads and it glues itself to the wall. So this one is capable of growing almost up any surface, even shiny marble if you so care to, because it can attach itself with its own glue. And here are the sucker pads, there, and they make a really strong adhesion with the plant, so there's some more there, look. And so this whole plant up this wooden fence here is completely unsupported other than by gluing itself to the surface of the plant, 